welcome back to this new session. Um, I may do the recap myself this time. So, last time, the group moved into Updata and had um, not much happen, but still something kind of significant. Um, you were, I don't know, probably shopping around a little bit, looking for a bag of holding. Which you didn't find, you did find a couple of clues to uh, a couple of different things you could be doing. One of the clues was where a bag of holding may have been or could be inside of a what the merchant told you was a artificer type wizard guild, sort of. Um, you were sitting in a bar. Uh, when sitting in the bar, you uh, caught the attention of... Or, you saw a couple of dwarves who were speaking to each other. Uh, the dwarf was a merchant. He asked you... Um, basically, you offered yourself to help him uh, by moving to a certain smaller settlement of the dwarves. Uh, a very small settlement right over here. Um, where you would look for the dwarf's nephew and just generally see how everything is going. He would pay you a couple of gold for that. Nothing major. And while uh, Gumby was speaking to the dwarves, uh, Tyranius and Dolos uh, made a small little scheme to spy on a couple of, at least according to Tiber Tyranius, a uh, couple of drow. Um, and they got a, a pretty decent, or Dolos at least got a pretty decent amount of information related to Tyranius. And at the moment that one of the men stepped out of the building, he apparently stabbed Dolos. In which case, last or the next couple of turns were basically Dolos dying and the rest of the party trying to make sure Dolos didn't die. Luckily enough, Dolos didn't die, and by now, Dolos is laying in a bed with Tyranius and Gumby in the same room, who are keeping watch over him, making sure he doesn't die of his wounds, or another attempt at his life. Um, I think that's about it, what happened last time. If anyone has anything to add to that, please do so. No, that was good. And then we'll continue on from here. Go ahead. Okay, well, we would have spent the night, and then in the early morning, I, uh, we would have gone to the, um, to take that request. Which was, like, you know, checking out that area nearby Heloris. Up the doors, check out. No, no, this, this, no, there's another one up here. here. Where are we going down here first? No, no. Yeah, we're going down there first, but we have to take we're taking the request to do the one up here. Okay. No, gotcha. the request was from the one up here. No no no. There's no remember when we went to the mayor's place there was a request of, to check it out for a hundred gold. I thought oh, that was no, the that island. was on the island, that was somewhere here. No. No, there is there is another quest <coughs> indeed. There was a small village who had a couple of problems. Right. Oh. Right. Yeah. That's correct. Because I, I told the doors we're heading up that way anyways. Right. Because that need, that's more of immediate, and then then after we take care of all that, we come back to Abdera. Well, we, I'm gonna head up into Haloris because I want to check out the uh, mayor's place. Um, I think. No, the Baron's house. And then after that, we'll come back to Abdera. <laughs> and then we'll head up. We'll head, turn that in, and then we'll head up north to figure out that island. And you still have the Dwarven Merchant thing that you sp spoke about. Right, right, we're gonna do that first, then go over here, then go to Heloris, <laughs> then go back to... There, that's so the it's... One, two, three, well, bad three, four, five? Like that? Um, no. Wouldn't it be like one, that? three, two? One, no. two, two, three, one, three, four, five. Yes, like what well, I've got them. What you've got? <laughs> All right, that's okay. Okay, good. Then I'll delete them so everybody knows what we're going to do, or what what you're going to do. Don't delete our characters. <laughs> 
All right, yeah, that doesn't all matter. Right. So I guess we just do that and start. We get, how much feed do we have, uh, Ty? Uh, we've got uh, five days. Okay, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and snag um, at least another? I'd say go and snag uh, ten days worth. Okay. Anything else you guys need to do? Sleep? Don't think so. Okay, so we, well, we've the, done that. The, the, f the first morning, Dolos wakes up. Uh, Dolos, you are currently feeling terrible. You are by far not close to your max HP. So you basically just healed this additional HP uh, plus the additional things that you had done previously. But even if you are at full HP, you're still feeling kind of bad. It's um, The poison is mostly gone, but there's still like a, f a very small lingering feeling that it's still within your system. Something that the restoration spell didn't deal with. Either it's in your mind or there's actually still some poison left. In any case, you feel bad, but not like you're going to throw up or going to die or anything like that. It's like... It is like a, f a weird form of a hangover. <laughs> okay, sort of a hangover. Yeah, sort of a hangover, we but then a little bit more painful. We can have restoration then. on you again if you still feel bad. I think I'm alright. I so should be the, fine. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, the, the group starts initially uh, by uh, getting everybody together again. Uh, I think you probably... Um, any yeah, anything else before you really leave? Uh, besides going to the mayor's place or whatever and getting that thing, the the notification or whatever. No. Okay, so you move to the mayor's office. You ask for the notification. The the person. It's a different person this time. She uh, gives it to you. She says, uh, "Here is the notification. This is what you have to do." And this is the reward upon returning, with proof, of course, that you did what we asked you to do. Okay, what proof um, is needed? Proof. If if the village is still alive, which we expect, the proof would simply be a uh, the sign of the village elder. He'll scratch it. Us usually, they just mark it or something with it, their own specific signet ring, that sort of thing. They always have something within every small village that the village elder has with which to sign these types of things. Just let him uh, sign it or her and then bring it back. That'll be the proof we need. And if he's dead? If he's dead, then you'll have to find another way of proof. Uh, we'll usually leave that to the people, but if you come back to us and say, well, they all died. We, of course, will send a couple of people to look after it for certainty, but most of the time we... Uh, it, it depends really on what you have done and what the situation is. Okay. But, it, yeah, if, if the village is emptied, you should find another way of proof that you at least did it. And after this short conversation, you move out of the city. Mm -hmm. And it'll be three days walking along the road, or two days along the road, and then your third day will be along the, uh, yeah, along, alongside of the river towards the um, area where the village should be, where the little this settlement by, should this be. This is speed of horse, or just by walking? This is the general speed with the horses. Um, the road, the road traveling is pretty easy going, generally speaking, because these roads are pretty decently well kept. But Should from I... the moment you actually get off the road, the trip becomes more difficult with the horses. Luckily, the, you don't have to travel through the woods; you travel through plains. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's still like uh, high, high knee-high grasses. Um, bushes which can be kind of thick together, so it's it's not the easiest going, especially with a, a cart that you have. So we'll um, roll 
D20 for the first day, for the second day, and for the final stretch along the um, along the river. Yeah, along the river. One more thing. I want all of you to make a perception check. And this is between the first and second day. Yeah. Well, that's to be expected from Dolus. <laughs> yeah, okay. about the same to be expected from me. Uh, Tyranius, you yes. recognize this, uh, the, the crossing. And around this area last time, you uh, were found out by the gob by the kobolds and had your little um, interaction with them. And as you look around, the co you you don't really see signs of the kobolds at that position. Um, and when that and when you get around this area, like the uh, around the second day, you see a couple of smaller signs of uh, activity around you and once in a while you do catch the glimpse of something greenish cobalt like but they never uh, there are never multiple creatures and there is also never uh, a creature that shows them really shows them to you and um it it's you get the imp uh, you can make an um, insight check to see if you can kind of guess what its behavior does or means. Your general guess is that these uh, kobolds are merely looking, merely scouting, uh, perhaps uh, noting uh, traveler movement, army movement, uh, that sort of thing. But uh, they do not seem overly aggressive towards, at least towards you. Oh, okay, well, I, I make sure that uh, I quietly let everyone else know uh, without kind of giving it away. All right. And so the second day passes. Uh, by the time you are at the other side of the river, you take a rest. And then your final day is basically the trek along the river. Which takes a little longer, and by the time you reach, um, but you are walking over this um, plain field, high grass, bushes everywhere, and after a while you can see like a hill in front of you, and when you get closer, you are now a, a few. I'd say you are about a mile away from it, and it's it's a, it's a clear day. The, um, you can. You can see fairly far in front of you, and you can see like small signs uh, of a settlement type of thing uh, on top of the hill, but also around the hill. What are you trying to perceive? Just general surroundings. Yeah, anything out of or out of the ordinary. Um, from this distance, you don't see anything out of the ordinary. At least Drake and Gumby don't. Terranius, um you notice that even though it's evening, there is no real, like, uh, smoke coming <laughs> from the area. Okay, I point that out to everyone else. Mm, Dolos, by now, you have, by the third day, you have all your HP back, but you're still, you're still a little I'm bit still sickly. Blind. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're you're still a little Pretty bit much. sickly. You're, you're, that you're was just... the case before the stabbing, yeah. though. Yeah. So the... <laughs> no excuse. I should see a doctor. At least, yeah, at least you know that the stabbing didn't improve your eyesight in any way. <laughs> <laughs> improve can at least be hopeful. <laughs> so um, you're about a mile away from the area now. Um, you move closer, I presume. Yep. How much closer would you get? Um, until I see something that would cause me to stop, I'd assume. Okay, so I say you move around. Uh, uh, you're about 400 feet away from the general area. Okay. By the time you stop, and um, 
what you see is the following. Um, you see a, uh, you see the hill. You see a door kind of built into the hill. It seems intact, and you can see a uh, fence work around the hill and going to the back of the hill and then joining up on uh, uh, out of sight, just behind the wheel, uh, behind the hill. If it's uh, completely behind the hill so that there is no elevation there anymore or if it's uh, just out of sight for you to see you don't necessarily know um make perception checks again and ty you have advantage oh i always have this yeah, advantage because ty needs advantage <gasps> i'm wow. cured <laughs> um Tyranius, Dolos, and Drake. Mm -hmm. The three of you notice the absence of any type of animals or really any type of activity at all. Okay. Uh, it, 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 it's, it's early evening, so you'd expect, as I said previously, you'd expect a little bit of smoke coming from cooking fires or children perhaps walking around there or adults walking around there or in this types, in these types of settlements, you would ex at least expect a chicken, but there's nothing within the fenced-off area. So you're kind of asking yourself, why would you fence off an area if you don't keep pets or animals or anything in there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're invisible. All right, uh, Dallas, make a wisdom check. <laughs> <laughs> would that be intelligence? Intelligence you be, you be, don't you mean perception? <laughs> I get intelligence, intelligence or wisdom. Choose. Intelligence? Isn't that like a minus one? It wouldn't be wisdom. Wisdom doesn't make sense given the game then. rules. It'd be intelligence. Okay. Uh, intelligence. Make it an arcana. <laughs> arcana? Is that also That's like intelligence? Minus five. Yes. Arcana. Uh... Yeah, that's intelligence. There you go. <laughs> In your face. So you, um, you, you, you think by yourself. Well, perhaps these are invisible, and then you're like, wait a minute. Turning creatures invisible, even one creature, takes a pretty decent amount of magical energy, and it doesn't last for a very long extended period of time. To uh, cast invisibility on. Like this entire hill, which then would be necessary. Not only would the fence probably be invisible as well. It would take an enormous amount of energy. And it's, it does, doesn't seem logical to do that for such a small... It, you could call it a settlement. By, by now you're like, well, it's not even really a settlement. This is one big house. So... Yeah, an invisibility spell just doesn't seem logical. Oh, it was a joke, though. I didn't think I was actually gonna... Re <laughs> I'm wasted a crit for this, man. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, uh, okay. Well, it's not invisible. So you can, Do you say you that? Can... <laughs> yeah. I just give you, like, this, this eyebrow, like... Yeah, duh. Really? <laughs> so um you move up towards the area a little bit more and by now you are standing um um about 50 feet from the fence you can take it from here okay okay I read my mind. Yeah, slowly walk up. Oh my and... gosh, wait, what? Oh, you're stealthing. I was gonna say, like, that's that's a heck of a perception. <laughs> wait a minute. You don't have a plus 10 to perception. Secretly, I was very deceptive. I'm just gonna keep an eye out for enemies, otherwise I think we're just gonna keep moving up. Oh, oh no, 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 my Chris gosh. On perception. <laughs> Dolos, what the hell are you doing here? This, <laughs> this, this is not supposed to happen. <laughs> I said, I already told you, I was cured of my blindness. <laughs> no, he's terrified that he's going to get stabbed again. He's yes! Everything. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, dead. 
while you're moving, uh, like really you know, to the f towards the front gate, Tyranius and Dolos, both of you, and yeah, Tyranius, Dolos, Gumby would probably notice. Yeah, Gumby, you notice it as well. Um, well, Gumby, you notice that there are a couple of um, strange holes within the uh, field that's invented, and from this point of view. Uh, this also counts for uh, Dolus and um, Tyrannus, by the way. You can also see um, to the left, a little bit behind, where you pre what you a, a part that you previously couldn't see, uh, a decent sized chunk of the fence. Around 15 feet of it is just flat on the ground, broken in pieces. And Tyrannus and Dolus. You also note that on specific parts of this uh, grass field, which is um, starting to grow a little bit, it's starting to get a little bit high, um, you notice that uh, some chunks have splatters of a brownish liquid. Or at least it was a liquid at one point. They're now just brownish platters at different locations. You can make a nature check to see. The two of you can make a nature check. Do they point that out so I can do it too? Yes, I do. Okay. Both uh, of us, nature check? Nature. Okay. Yeah, everybody can make a nature check now. A nature is... My first thought is it's dried blood. Uh, nope. Yeah, mine too. This makes sense. Good thing I'm proficient at intelligence. <laughs> and doesn't matter. <laughs> we got 8, 9, 10, and then a 14. Um, actually, he has a 6. <laughs> because even oh. though you're proficient in intelligence, if you're not uh, proficient in a specific skill, you do not get the proficiency bonus. Oh. Uh, proficient in intelligence is m only for the intelligence save itself. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um... Ty, you actually get the closest <laughs> to anyone. Um, you look at these uh, patches, and what you notice is that um, the, 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 the brownish stuff is littered all over the place. It's splattered around. It's dried up. So, at one point, it was a liquid, but it isn't anymore. You don't really get anything more than that. Okay, well, I point out what I know to the others. Okay. We'll keep going. Whoa, that's an upgrade. There we are. Reveal, come on, reveal. Oh, it's revealed already. <laughs> Do I drag myself in? Yeah, you can drag yourself in on uh, around this area. Do So what you see right now is, um, you see a little bit of a dirt path, mm -hmm. and basically the sides over here and over here are the hill that are moving up, and this is a uh, dugout towards the front door, which is over here. I can't... Oh, this is the front door? To what? Yep, that's the front door. To what? To the inside of. Oh, because this is this is dwarves, so they made it like an inner. Yeah, they made it. They they built it into the hill itself, a little bit like a uh, hobbit hole. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> but this looks uh, larger than a hobbit hole. It looks, I'd say, less cozy but more practical. 
Okay. Do you guys think I should go up and knock? Well? well. I don't know. You go I'm knock. Doing. Yeah, I guess. Ahead. Okay. I want a perception check. Uh, listen? Sure. So you put your ear against the door. Wait a short while. Don't hear anything. Okay. I I knock. You knock and you can hear the knock echo through the uh through the house. And you wait. A couple of seconds, now, is 30 there an, seconds. Is there an entire village like inside this this place or is it just a house? It's just a house. By now you kind of think that the village wasn't necessarily the correct name for this. It is like a real, real starting settlement, but right now it's just one single house. It's a pretty decently sized house, so you okay. could okay. get a quite a decent amount of people in there. I mean, a couple of families could probably live within this house fairly easily. But it's still just one house. It's really like the start... And nothing else. All right. Um, you have waited for about thirty seconds to a minute, and nothing happened. Okay, I'll try to open the door then. The uh, you try to open the door, and it's not locked. And you, when you open the door, you see the following. Is there a means to lock it? There is a means to lock it. Okay. Okay, that's what we see. Um, I'm doing the other side. This is what you see. Are we rolling initiative yet? <laughs> <laughs> no. The door is open. You can just move through. Um, is anyone being particularly or trying to be stealthy? Um, uh, I'm always stealthy. <laughs> passive stealth. We you might as well. Passive stealth. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm critting all day long. <laughs> it's for days. Um, I guess I'll try stealthing too. 21. Yay for not having disadvantage anymore. Sure, well I guess we'll group stealth. Well, good thing I'm keeping Dixie. the stealth. We're at a 15, on. don't... Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, that 15 turns <laughs> you into a... the stealth. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even matter. Well, because it's... yeah. Actually, no. Because it it's 15 60, right now. So, 60 divided by 4. Yeah, it was a, it was a 20. <laughs> now it's a 15. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, you, you kind of reasonably in words, stealthily move in as a group. Uh, one of the group kind of bumps himself against, uh, or you, you, uh, Drake, you kind of step on a uh, specific part of the floor that just creaks. Mm hmm. Under my weight. Either under your weight or just What's generally around me? creaks, you're not really certain. What's this stuff? Is just food reserves? Um, what you see is food reserves, th these are. General storage facilities. You could use them as food reserves. You could also use them as drink reserves, uh, or put basic clothing in there. That sort of thing. Okay. Are you guys following me, or am I going in on my own? Do we want to follow someone with a stealth of <laughs> this? I'm assuming it's blood, but does my character assume that? Um, you can make a nature check. Nature? Hmm. Would that be nature medicine? Medicine is also possible, yeah. Okay. I will do medicine. I think nature is technically. I will here. fail in the medicine. Twelve. So, yeah, um, it isn't directly visible as blood because it has been dried and the color changed from red a little bit to more brownish. It's the same type of uh, substance that you found outside. 
But by now you are kind of looking at it re better. At least Drake is looking at it better. And Drake is fairly certain that this is indeed blood. But then dried up and old. Okay. We'll just make our way through here until we see something that will cause us to stop. Besides all the bloody blood. No, but it's not bloody anymore. Isn't blood by definition bloody? It's not liquidy. Uh, make perception checks? <sighs> Who's in my way again? Double digits. Okay. Um... Alright guys, roll for your initiative. <laughs> 